Hey, right, folks, thanks for tuning in. Hope y'all doing okay today. So, um, <clears throat> got to help a buddy of mine today. I was, I had to do something for my wife this afternoon about two o'clock. Long backstory there. But I had some free time on my hands, been working all week, messaging a buddy of mine on Facebook. He's like, hey, I'm going to go pick up a car later this afternoon. He's buying a donor for the chassis to do a drag build. And so I'm like, you need a ride? It's not terribly far. I'll still be able to make it. He's like, yeah, that'd be great. So I go pick him up. He and I run halfway across the state, pick this little turd muffin up. So, um... Anyway, I had a thought a few days ago that I want to share with you guys, and it's something that I think might actually be a great idea for future politicians, especially at the federal level. And here's what I got. <clears throat> I think that there should be a law about running for federal elected office, whether it's senator, representative, or um, president. Also, I know there's other federal offices, but I think that anyone that's going to run for those or even be appointed to those should have to hold a private job in the private sector and make a certain amount of money. And I think that should also apply for the state level. And here's the reason why I think that is. The federal government and even state governments to a point can impact in a massive way the bottom line of people's checkbooks, and of businesses profit quarterly profit or loss statements based on taxes based on uh, as we've definitely seen over the past 18 months lockdowns and the ability to do conduct your business freely so I think that only having people in that, that like cuz take Joe Biden Bernie Sanders and I'm sure there's others. I know Mitch McConnell hadn't earned it on a, a private sector dollar in forever. But I think that having a, hey, you've got to provide W-2s or tax return filings or whatever um, with the Federal Election Commission filings to prove that you earned, you know, this much honest blue or white collar work outside of the federal government before you're even considered to run. And I don't think it should be a punitive amount. I'm not saying you need to have a fortune piled up in the bank. I'm just saying that, you know, hey, if you have a job making $50,000 a year, you can run for an elected office, see that uh, New Jersey truck driver that's now a New Jersey state senator. <clears throat> and he spent just a few hundred dollars on his campaign in the primary. But I think that having, you know, hey, you've got to earn a quarter of a million dollars uh, gross before you can run for elected office, I think that'd be a reasonable thing because you're either going to be in a big business at a you know board or something like that and see the profit loss and all that stuff going on month to month, or you're going to be in the, you know, low to middle class worker grinding it out every day, you know, and by my standard, I could run for, you know, if it was a quarter million dollars, I could run for elected office. I'd have no problem proving that I had cleared a quarter million dollars. I ain't got none of it piled up in the bank because I've got, you know, car payments and mortgage and kids and on and on and on and on and on it all goes, but just a thought I had. That's what I got for today, folks.